So we are getting a lot of emails and I'm gonna tell you about a couple of them from really stressed parents. The death of Ruth Bader Ginsburg combined with a run up to the election, extreme fears about who will win, the fear about what will happen in between November and January with the transfer of power. It's too much for most people. But when you are a same-sex parent and you're not biologically related to your kids, this is actually real and it's really, really scary. I'm actually gonna spend a little time and read to you from two of the 12 emails we've gotten in just the last week, because I really want you to know that you're not alone and that other people are feeling and experiencing the same thing that you are. So I'm not gonna tell anyone's names because it's critical that we always maintain our clients' confidences, but, but you'll get the sense of, of what's out there and what people are feeling like. So this one, this one says, my wife and I are married and we have a child conceived through shared conception, IVF, using an anonymous donor. We were previously considering a step-parent adoption, but we held off because we figured we were mostly protected by the laws in Connecticut. In the current climate, we are scared and we know we need to consider additional protections for our family. That's one of them. The other one is, my wife and I worked with Freed Marcroft for the adoption of our daughter. Our family has grown and we had a three month son. We've realized now that we need to go through the adoption process again, that the existing rules that there are right now aren't sufficient. We really hope that we can speak to you soon. That's what's happening. People are feeling the impact on their families and they're scared. I am here with some reassuring news, both in terms of what we can do to help and in terms of how difficult and time consuming is to do it. Look, the Supreme Court is critical. This election is critical. I can't take care of any of that, but what I can to do is explain to you that we can clarify your rights to and your responsibility for all of your children, regardless of biology, in a pretty straightforward way. What we need to do is do step-parent adoptions of your children. That gives you a court order. That court order is subject to the full faith and credit clause of the United States Constitution. What that means is that any court throughout the United States is required to respect your adoption of your children. And that means that you are a full legal parent to those kids everywhere in this country. I can't tell you this unequivocally because there's no way for me to confirm it, but I am darn sure that we do more step-parent adoptions than any other law firm in Connecticut. We've never, ever had one denied. We need to get your kids adopted, and we know how to do it fast, painlessly, and without a lot of disruption to your lives. Now, I am going to talk a little bit about what happens if you don't adopt your kids. And listen, it is bullshit that you have to adopt your own children. It's ridiculous. You have to adopt your own children. It is currently the only way that we can get that court order that every state in this country will honor. If you don't do it, you're relying on Connecticut law that other states may or may not recognize. And listen, if you're not married, if you're partners, you are really, really exposed. But even if you're married, there is no court case currently that says that another state has to recognize the presumption that a child between two people is a child of the marriage. Other way to put that, plain talk, you may not be a mom if you go to a different state. My wife and business partner, Kristen, and I are working tirelessly to get what's called the Uniform Parentage Act passed in Connecticut. What that means is that people would no longer have to adopt their own kids in order to clarify their parentage. But we haven't gotten it passed yet. 
listen, if I never do another same sex adoption because that thing passed, that will be one of the happiest days in my personal and professional life. But it's not today. Your kids are critical now. We need to protect them now. And we have a way to do it. Give us a call.